Hello everyone. Sorry, there was lightning. Um, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. And um, today I'm going to be um reading the Ghosts and Molly Mickey, um, <clears throat> the Ghosts and Molly Mickey, uh, season one episodes. What was it? Um, one through five, I believe six no six sorry yeah i believe six a episodes one through six so you know i was gonna do this on wednesday but something came up so i'm doing it today on friday and what i'm hoping to do is on tomorrow saturday i hope i get the full segment of i mean the, the full two segments in one video for um, the Ghost of Molly McGee season one, episode one, which you see right here is um, the curse and um, first day frights. So hopefully I get that done tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I will do um, I'll do um, episode two, which is um, Halloween, Harriet, and um, the unnatural. So. So I get the first few episodes done. So yeah, without further ado, let me get started with that. Um, yeah, I know Amphibia was supposed to be this weekend. It might be, but right now I think it's going to be to go some Amiki so I can catch up because episode um, three is supposed to premiere. I already saw Disney Plus, but it's supposed to premiere live. I'm still going to see it live. It's, awesome um and so i'm gonna see that um in the premieres tomorrow so yeah but um anyway let's get started okay so season one episode one is um the curse and first day frights so the curse molly and the mcgee's move into their forever home only to discover that it's already occupied by a grumpy ghost first day frights Molly is determined to make a good first impression on her first day of school. Okay. Episode, episode 2. Howlin Harriet. Molly attends a wilder, wilder, sorry, wilder Scouts camping trip to scope out her options for a best friend. The unnatural. When Molly's softball team struggles to believe in themselves, she decides to use Scratch's ghost powers to manipulate the game and make them feel like winners. Hmm. Okay. Um, episode 3, Getting the Band Shell Back Together. When Molly learns about Brighton's old outdoor concert band shell, she's, yeah, she sets out to rebuild it to bring the community together. And the greatest concert ever, Molly must find a band to play the uh, first concert at Brighton's new band shell. Okay. Um, episode 4, Mama's Gotta Hustle. When the McGee's van breaks down and repair costs are more than they can afford, Molly's mom decides to take, in, take on odd jobs to help the family make ends meet. Hooray for Mollywood. Molly learns that more money means more problems. When she teams up with Andrea or Andrea, it, it depends on the vowel, to create this scary movie. Okay. So we kind of already like, get a name for like one of the people's, people Molly's going to meet. Okay. So, um, Not So Honest Abe. Not So Honest Abe. Um, and this is episode uh, five. Molly only has a few hours to put together an entire school project on Abraham, Link Abraham Lincoln, but it's helpful that Scratch knows Abraham Lincoln's ghost. Okay, best of Nin tensions. Molly senses tension between her mom and Grandma Nin, so she takes it upon herself to identify the source of the conflict and mend the rift. Okay, and episode six. Maisel Tov Lippy. 
when Molly discovers her best friend didn't even go close to big on the biggest day of, of life. Molly takes charge to throw Libby the best bat mitzvah ever. And no good deed, when Daryl gets in trouble at school, Molly volunteers to help reform his delinquent ways by giving him nice lessons. Ooh. Okay, so um, let me start from the beginning. And you know, we'll talk about it. You know, spoilers and whatnot. Okay, so the curse, okay, and we kind of saw that kind of from the trailer, yeah. Um, so Molly and her family, her name is McGee, move into their forever home. So I'm assuming that they kind of like move a lot since, like, forever home. Why wouldn't it be a forever home? Like, you know? So, and it's occupied by a grumpy ghost with just scratch, okay. First day frights. Molly wants to make a good first impression on her first day of school, so she might meet like her best friend there, meet other students, the teacher. Maybe there might be people there, maybe there might, might not. I don't know. Um, okay, so that's all I have to say about that. Um, episode 2, Howling Harriet. So Molly attends a Wilder Scouts camping trip, so kind of like Girl Scouts a little bit, and she wants to find a best friend. So that's cool from the first City Frights to Howling Harriet. It kind of sort of connects a little bit. Um, it's kind of after. So after she goes to school, then she wants like to meet her best friends or, or like make one of her close friends to make her like her best friend. So maybe students that are in her same school are in the same like troop, like the Wilder Scouts. So that's pretty cool. Um, the unnatural. Um, I guess Molly has is in a softball team, and they're struggling to believe in themselves. I guess they're bad. And she decides to scratch his ghost powers to manipulate, manipulate the game, which is bad. I am not a fan of that. You should. I'm sorry. If you're bad, just train harder. I'm sorry. Um, getting the band shell back together. Um, so I guess Brighton, it's, it's the town, um, had an old outdoor concert band shell. And she wants to rebuild it to bring the community together. Okay. And the next one, which is cool, um, the greatest concert ever. So I guess I can bet back to back. Molly must find a band to play the first concert at Brighton's new band show, the greatest concert ever. Mom has got a hustle. Um, and um, that title makes me worry. Um, so I guess their, Molly's fan, you know, the Mickey's fan breaks down and the repair costs a lot of money and they can't afford it. So Molly's mom decides to take like odd jobs. What type of jobs? I'm worried. Um, and then, you know, hooray for Mollywood. Molly learns that more money means more problems. And when she teams up with Andrea or Andrea to create a scary movie. So I'm wondering, Andrea or Andrea, is that her best friend? Is that the bully? Is that just a close friend? Um, I don't know. I, I do know because I've seen the episodes. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not going to tell you for now. Um, so, and since we're talking about money, is Andrea or Andrea rich? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so, um, not so honest Abe. And, um, Molly only has a few hours to put together an entire school project on Abraham Lincoln. Hmm. And it's helpful that Scratch knows Abraham Lincoln's ghost. So, okay, that's pretty cool that Scratch can say, hey, Abraham Lincoln, um, can I, uh, you know, uh, I'll help out Molly here. So, but only a few hours like did Molly not do the work or like did she forget about the project did the teacher say oh you only have like one week to do it I don't know I mean I don't know the, like the context I mean I do know but you know um, best in intentions so Molly sends intentions between grandma Nin and her mom so I guess she has a grandma alright that's cool and there's a like a rift there so oh look what happened um Mesotov, Libby, and No Good Deed. The, these two segments, the final two, I have not seen yet because it's not on Disney Plus and this premieres um, October 30th and it's October 8th right now, so yeah. I, I'm blind as you guys, um, but here's a description. Um, when Molly discovers her best friend, so I guess Libby's her best friend, I guess that's like, kind of a spoiler, sorry. Um, when Molly discovers her best friend didn't even go close to big on the biggest day of life, Molly takes charge to throw Libby the best 
it's forever so i'm assuming libby is jewish and um and i guess libby maybe didn't want to make a big deal out of it or maybe her parents are kind of poor they didn't have enough money or i don't know because why wouldn't she go big you know she's a kid you know and, and as a please correct me if i'm wrong but mitzvahs are 13 so i'm assuming and molly's supposed to be 12 so oh so i'm assuming just like molly libby's like 12 12 and a half and she's about to turn 13 oh okay so I, that, that's an okay range yeah um and in no good deed, when Daryl gets in trouble at school, Molly volunteers to help perform his delinquent ways of giving him nice lessons. Okay, but why would he just do it for this like one kid? Unless this is her brother or cousin, or it, maybe she's doing for extra credit. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, that's what I think of these episode titles and the descriptions. I can't wait for Maisel to talk Livy and No Good Deed at the end of October because I have not seen it yet. So. Um, but, um, yeah, everyone, um, so tomorrow I'm going to do, um, um, The Ghost of Molly Mickey Season 1, Episode 1, um, <clears throat> what was it called, the, the Curse and, you know, First Day Frights, so, you know, hopefully those will be good episodes, uh, you know, episode, your two segments, and, you know, Sunday I'll do Episode 2. And um, which was um, Howling Harriet and the yeah, idea unnatural. So, everyone, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for The Ghost of Molly McKee, Season 1, Episode 1 The Curse, First Day Frights. Okay? Bye.